Hello and welcome, my name is Saeed and this is another car review. Today I have a 2023 Mazda CX-50. This is a new car to the Mazda lineup, I believe. It did not replace the CX-5, I know that for a fact. <laughs> and it's pretty pricey, but I think it's really cool. Let's take a look at the exterior first here. Um, we'll take a look at some of the notable features like the lines on this. The rear end looks really good. It's it's styled just like almost every other car is styled nowadays. So it's got all the features that almost every other car has nowadays too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior really quick. And then we'll get into the interior. So this trim level is the 2.5 turbo premium plus package, all wheel drive. But I really like this big grill. Looks really nice. This right here, this textured plastic looks really cool, but the body lines are what is really mesmerizing on this vehicle. Prominent lines, the fender kicks out, the rear kicks out. They look really strong here. You got parking sensors on the front. You got your radar for all your safety sensing there. And then in the windshield, you have the camera. You got some 19 inch wheels. Pardon me, 20 inch wheels, yeah. Um, 2.5 twin turbo engine, 227 horsepower, 310 foot pounds of torque. I think if you put premium gas in here, you get a little bit more a horsepower out of this. Um, of course, it has a smart key entry. It is equipped with. Oh, look at that. It's not equipped with it. It's got a 360 camera, though, but not a kick activated lift gate. Unless I kicked it wrong. It's got some pretty decent space back here. This is a windshield pearl color. I know Toyota had a windshield pearl color. Um, and then you have the terracotta interior color, which looks like a basketball. It's pretty cool. So when the car is unlocked, so is the fuel door. It still has a cap on the filler, but whatever. Not a big deal. Take a look at the back seat. I'm about six foot two. Let's see how easy it is for me to get in here not that easy but guess what i do have heated seats if i can manage to get in here wash city and then um you do have a nice panel roof um it's simple the design is very minimal um it's got that that vent theme going kind of like the civic and the integra have dual climate zones for driver and passenger lots of features memory seating for driver one driver two all the safety sense features heated steering wheel ventilated seats heated seats um, you got the home link set up for driver one, two, and three. You got a 10 inch display there. Um, let's take a look. I know this thing is full of, full of features, rain sensing, windshield wipers, wiper de-icer. You have the it's a 3,500 pound towing capacity. That's pretty wild for a vehicle this size. Wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Um, you have the Bose sound system, which I mentioned. The MSRP on this is $45,000 trimmed out the way it is. I know this is an upgraded model um, with a lot of goodies on it, but $45,000 for a Mazda. And it's not even a CX-9. <laughs> But that's where we're headed in this market. Things are getting expensive, baby. Inflation is getting the best of everybody. Let's take a look at that vent here. I don't know. That's so weird. No? How is this controlling the whole... Oh, no, I don't think it is. I think you just turn it off this way if you don't want it, and then you turn it on that way. That's so weird. Leather wrapped steering wheel, leather wrapped seats. Got some good storage space in here. You got a wireless charging pad here. It's kind of hidden, but it's there. It's a QI charger. It's pretty cool. Visit www.seriousxm.com. Oh, sound system sounds pretty good, especially on commercials. That's pretty cool. The infotainment system is going to be completely relying on this touchpad here. It's not a touchpad, the dial to control it. That's cool. Makes sense. 
There's the navigation. There's the onboard navigation system. The dashboard looks kind of cool. Um, that the speedometer piece is digital. Everything else is analog. Enough of that. Yeah, let me know what you think. Let me go ahead and pop in the engine compartment. But actually, you know what? I'm not going to pop in the engine compartment. $45,000 for a Mazda CX-50. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you buying or selling the Mazda CX-50 for forty-five grand? It's a 2.5 turbo. It's not a twin turbo. Twin scroll. Some nonsense like that. All right. Have a good day.